All right, 10 minutes after 5 o'clock, let's get you an update on our alert day for today. And again, we issue these alert days just as a simple heads up for you, all right? That we are focusing in as meteorologists specifically on today and uh, this evening for the potential for some strong or severe thunderstorms. Right now, it is very dry and quiet outside, and this is going to be your typical summertime scenario. It gets hot, it gets hazy, it gets humid and then the atmosphere produces some thunderstorms. All right, look off to the west here. We can see the first wave of these developing back across the Mississippi River into Minnesota right now. And it's going to take a little bit of time for these to really gather, organize, and start pushing our way. And that's exactly what they're going to do over the course of today. Right now, they're over 400 miles away. And that's why our area is still in the square bullseye for the potential for strong to severe storms. I think what the most likely scenario that's going to happen today is thunderstorms will develop here from the thumb of Michigan back towards about Grand Rapids, Michigan, somewhere right between these orange and yellow lines meeting together. And then that line of thunderstorms will slowly sag southward. That's going to take some time to do it, and that may not happen until closer towards sunset for tonight. So we'll watch the threat closely. Obviously, strong straight line winds going to be the biggest uh, threat for us tonight. Let's look at our hour by hour forecast now, give you a really pinpoint version of what we're expecting. Here's 2 p.m. Notice. Yeah, maybe an isolated little pop up develops this afternoon. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but really we're waiting for the evening hours for it to uh, really spark off to our north. And that's going to be a good thing because that gives us an opportunity to watch the storms de develop out of our area and then come marching in. That means if you have the WTOL 11 weather app, you can watch that happen here. 7, 8, 9 p.m. Here it comes by 10 p.m. You can see it's got pretty strong look to it and straight line winds with any broken line like this is very likely. Just after midnight, the rain ends and it looks like tomorrow will be another hot, hazy day but likely dry. All right, look at the impacts here. We're talking strong 70 mile an hour wind gusts, certainly possible some hail. And of course, with any storms that are severe, we'll keep an eye for the potential for any spinning situations. Extended forecast here still looks like Friday, maybe the hottest day with some scattered thunder showers into early Saturday and next week still hot, not quite as hot as this week.